to you and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Galler. <coughs> Today we're looking at, sometimes, you know, we put on our blinders and we only see ortho. So a patient comes in, they want to close the upper space around the canines and the laterals. But what we really need to realize is that this is not an appropriate movement. Whenever we see things like this, what we're looking at really here is posterior bite collapse. This person does not have the vertical dimension of occlusion that they need. That's why those lower anterior teeth are pushing those upper anterior teeth out. And just kind of taking that teeth and moving them in, although this is sometimes a movement we would do in a normal occlusion. We would do IPR on the lower and we'd kind of lingual constrict the upper teeth and bring this all in. In a case that just you kind of eyeball and the VDO is collapsed, this is collapsing a VDO even further and this is not recommended. Although, you know, I'm super gung-ho on cases, this is a case that just needs a little bit of forethought. This is not the proper vertical dimension of occlusion. This patient is clearly, just look at them, you could tell they're a grinder, and they basically ground down their vertical dimension of occlusion. That's the reason that they have these diastomas, because it's an anterior interference driving those teeth. This is a totally collapsed occlusion. I don't even have to see the patient's smile face to know that this is a collapsed occlusion. Trying to close anterior space in a collapsed seclusion is not the correct way to go. This is a no treat right here. What they need to do is we need to build composite onto the posterior teeth here, almost like on lays open the bite and then solve it. You could tell obviously teeth like this that are already short clinically, we don't want to kind of intrude them even more. That would not be the way that we want to go. If anything, we want to give them some space and we want to rebuild their inclusion. Again, sometimes licks can be deceiving what seems on paper like an anterior spacing case with some lower IPR to close it all in. Textbook Invisalign case is not. This is a no treat as is. This is a posterior bite collapse. And I don't know how to teach it other than just eyeball when things just look collapsed and you could tell it's a very heavy grinder and wear, this is a combination prosthodontic Invisalign case and it's not an Invisalign treat on its own. This has been ClinCheck Theater Thursday and I am your host, Dr. David Geller. 